Final game of China region, E home versus newbie. Ballsy, both sides looking scary. And practicing around the radiance build up instead. Yeah, I think both I think both is both are good. S same kind of same kind of thing, just like focusing on the late game. Less so of like that physical damage build. Oh, they're gonna Ooh, metamorphose shall up, shall we? Taking a lot of damage. Runs to the second route. That's not how you escape quickly like unless your plans were to escape to your fountain. I like it. Makes sense. Terrorblade is a high armor hero. Speaking of which, he's moving in. X gonna come out. Got him with the X. Oh, I hope you like both, baby. He's going over split, but it's too late. The damage is already done. And Moogie going over the No, shall we? He couldn't get it off in time. The damage wasn't enough. He throws out the Doom, but too little, too late. First crown to walk off. Static Link comes in. Kunkka the target on 430. Even with the boat buff, he's feeling the pain. He's going to go down. Off the ultimate off of Innocence. He's trying to help out Doom, but Xiao Wei just gets melted. Newbie, they're going to plow through. They'll even dive this tower as they clean up Innocence. They're looking on the Xing Q. They know he's going to TP out instead. They move across the creep wave, push in, and will get themselves a tier one and a big victory in a team fight. He's got the death last, and everyone wants to get second life. You have to suspect this is up. Newbie, you can already see they're close by. Next Willow. Now. 430, Look, he's distracting them though. Awen can't get in. He's pretty far away. Sanchez needs to delay this somewhat, but now Jai walking out. They got the terrorized BKB activated. Doom trying to move in nightmare. All new himself to protect himself. The spirit vessel taking a lot of damage. Terrorized through. Trying to scare everyone away. They put him up in the air. They might be getting Sanchez needs to finish it. They'll be able to pick it up. No! It's gonna be a snatch day against Jawe. He didn't get the kill, but he does get the second life. Bane, he'll get his second life by buying back, trying to get back into this fight. Doom taking a lot of damage. Moogie trying to move in on the back line, though. Doomed up. Razor can't do much. Gonna be dragged back into a double torrent. And now the cleave damage through. 430 cleans up. Looking for the next kill. Aaron gonna be chased through. No split left, no chance of this. He's trying to retreat, but they are just overwhelming him and running him through. And ran into the pit to suicide just to get vision on the Roche. At the very least, they do get the kill, but because Xiao has this Aegis, they can just push high ground. And this really speaks to E-Home control without investment or commitment, right? Like you've seen again with the X. You just draw back in torrents, it buys time, you can back away. Nightmare coming on never end, though. You've no meta or him. Bruce split. Yeah, Alan's trying to move in. Six seconds till the split. Terrorize going to be there. BKB activate. Xiao Wei trying to zone them out. The damage done. The BA is going to go down. Okay, so through. Alan getting even deeper. Split's now going to come out. 430 trying to run away, but he's got the Spirit Vessel on him. Body should have protect. Abaddon up in the end. Now they're going to overwhelm 430. First round, not going to stun him. Lotus Orb does protect. They do actually claim the Aegis. Wait, he's trying to turn around and move away too late. It's going to actually be a kill for Jin Q. They're going to Nightmare off on the Doom and keep chasing on through because they want 430. He's going to fall. Maybe he's trying to fight them before this BKB comes out. Find that fight. S Triple C walking in, sees Innocence. He's the target. He does have it. They might commit split in a second. They try the Doom though. Now he can't. BKB out of his Jawai find up against the Beam Script. Onto the Doom. And Brewmaster says, I'm dead anyway. The boat comes in, clashing with his face. But Jawai, the damage already done. The stun unconnected on two. Moogie moving through. Terrorize next up on the hit list. They're looking on a 430. Down to half HP. Never end being chased away. And it looks like 430. He's being slowed by the Scar. He can root up by the Ictos. He's going to fall. No way that he gets out of this one. Or is he going to? Well, the final hit's going to come in. They're going to jump in. Left him low enough. He's going to go down. No chance for the sun. The turnaround opportunity is there. Never end. He strikes the big crit on the way. He's going to come off an S triple C. Will TP out right underneath the nose after Kunk buys back. Like, that's how a lot of teams win with Terrorblade, for example. You literally just wait until 40 minutes, wait for a DD, go on every DD, because eventually they will spawn. And if you have map control, you'll get the DD. Okay, charging in. BKB comes out. Split's been used on the backside. The terrorize scare and the rest of the way. Fiend's grip is out. Doom is the target. Can they do enough damage? Maybe. He might get a Doom out before he dies, but nothing else. Instead, he's stunned up. The boat's going to come through, catch on the Terror Blade. But the BKB active, S Triple C scares away Kunkka. And the Cyclone on the side, they've actually caught the Phantom Assassin. He has the BKB when it comes down, and he's just going to have to go for the TP away. The damage, though, is too much. It's going to bring him down. Double kill for Moogie. And they can go into the pit after this, but Owen moving forward, charges on the Innocent. Torrent doesn't land. Atos through though will slow him down. He already used the Epotic Shield. They might get themselves another kill. Lift to slow things down just a little bit. But if they just clip you with the Scar, you're in trouble. There's the first crown coming out with the Yules. That means Abaddon will fall as well. And it looks like Nubia found the perfect entrance into the Roche Pit. But also the PA, the large damage dealer until they kill the Doom. And then the Kunkka can't get into the fight. Metamorph Talon at level 25. You just hit from your base. Innocent. He's innocent, he swears. Don't kill him like this. They're gonna move in. Clap's gonna come out. Alwyn going to the back line. He's 430. He's gonna stun him up. Akos coming out, but being returned onto the Razor. They actually force out a very use, very early usage of the Borrow Time. Terrorize. Dodged out by 430. BKB active. Doom trying to run in. Throws out the Doom onto the Razor. The dagger's gonna pursue him, but well, actually, looks like the PA's not close enough. Moogie stands his ground. 430. Throws out the boot. Uh, the boat, rather. Moogie trying to move away. Does get stunned up initially. Terrorize. 
They're actually going to use it against them. Moogie, they are just trying to scare him and crowd him away. They'll finally throw it out. They do scare him. Dagger flying across. Going to stun him up. Jump in. Never end. BKB active. Moogie, he can't turn around. And now S C has to either cheese him back away. With BKB active, he could go for the TP. Instead, he stands his ground and fights because they have to actually win this hit. He was up in the air. They're going to actually keep waiting to the other fight. GQ looking to get low. Trying to stay alive right now. Healing up somewhat. With the fade ball and the tail to lift might be good enough. S C is going to go down. GQ with a double kill already in Sanjay. On the side, going to fall as well. Only one left and wakes. He'll go for the TP away. But the damage is overwhelming. Jim Q, he says die, die, and die again as he gets himself a triple kill. Can't do anything with it, though. And actually, that might be the go for Ehome. Without the BKB, Terrorblade will struggle to fight into him in the pit. And the Terrorize, too. Oh, the Doom. Oh, they get they the Doom the off. They're going to actually team out the fight. Now they jump on the other side. Never end going in, but the Static Link is out. SCC with his own BKB going to scare them away. But the damage is done. Brewmaster is down. 110 seconds dead. And no way back into this. They know he has no buyback. He might be contemplating Rapier, honestly. Yeah, does he even get the items in time is the real question. Because look how long that score is going to take. They're outside your base right now. They're coming. Go and try and jump in. BKB out of it. Jawake jumps in with the Doom straight away on the Moogie. And now, this might be the good scenario to have Fireback because he won't get a chance to use the Metamorphosis. He's going to go down. Case through. Trying to go for the secondary Doom. San Cheng stomped up. Jawake doing way too much damage. Has to back away. Static Link is on him. It's triple C. The buyback out from Moogie. He needs to fire up against this right now. PA is in your face and refusing to leave. 430 will have the boat in 24 seconds. You have a very small window of opportunity. Lotus Orb gets rid of the cursed crown, and now they're hitting onto the buildings. Newbie has to respond to this. Metamorph back there. BKB out. 430 trying to jump in. Doom thrown out of the Terror Blade. Now he can't even use on BKB. They're going to run him through a Moogie. It looks like he won't make it out alive. He's going to pull. And now they will just rinse the rest of Newbie as they chase them back to the pound. S Triple C hit up by the Abyssal. The GG comes out. As Newbie realized, E Home have overwhelmed them in game number one. God bless double damages. And funnily enough, this final push didn't even involve one. And also you go for the Greaves. So you have armor, lots of armor versus magic damage, and it's good against the Doom too. They're going to get him low with the Gosh. They might now. If Shock gets the first love, wakes, he draws it. Yeah. Freezes. You know. This gives 430 some space in the bot lane, though, against A1. Oh, does it? What? They're coming down for the rotation. Moogie arrives, and now they're going to stack us on the spot. A lot of damage being taken. Timber, even with all that reactive armor, I don't know if he can get away. Plasma Field will slow him down, and they will whip him into shape. See if it pays yeah, mur off. Mur murder's a really good way of just putting yourself in a better place in life. And here we Murder go. does feel good. Yeah, and S-Triple-C moving in. Dave Shift activated. Jai being chased on to the Inkflow to try and get him away, but the Shackles are going to be there. The Static Link's still running. Gonna take way too much damage. Gonna be able to back away. The Scorch Surf is still gonna get him out. The Doom turn around. Look at the opportunity on Moogie right now. It's gonna force him back a little bit. But Wakesy, he might be left behind. Should be ran down and killed off here. And Tim Machine through. Have they got the damage? Yes, they have. They're gonna bring Wakesy down. Ravage been used. Trying to ride with the fight. Alan trying to do enough. The Doom's about to run out. They need to get away from Moogie right now. But they're gonna get low. Never end. In case on two plasma Field doesn't quite clip. Nice movement away with the Phantom Strike on his Jawe. And they are in hot pursuit. Newbie, they want to find more out. They have to. They use such a big ultimate with the Ravage. And instead, Sanjay. He's a little bit too close. Inkswell's going to come out. Nightmare's going to try and break oh. away. Just get stunned up and just eviscerate with the crits coming out. It's like a Dota first now. Like. Radiance middle tower. Radiant the push coming in in the meantime. Newbie in the top lane trying to move him right here. Good enough. Rabbit's going to come out. They jump in. Ow, and on point with the blink. Just rotates in and looks to kill his tower. He's going to eviscerate. They steal it. They try and turn around. They're in the middle of a mess. They're on the Timber Saw. Can he do enough right now? Going to get on low. Looks like the Timber Side is going to go down. The buyback out from the Doom. going to throw out the Doom right now. And the Moogie just forcing him back and away here. San Xiang on the side just trying to do whatever he can, but they pop the Aegis. They need to back him up, but they can't. S Triple C just had to run for the high heels. Too low on HP, and now when he comes back up, he might be in trouble. They're gonna run through him and kill him the second time. Mugi without a team to support him. Even with the Aegis, it was not good enough. Look at Newbie. They hear what we say. They're like, actually, thanks for the reminder, Jenkins. We are kind of on the clock here. Up to the top lane. Gonna drop the Serpent Wars to move up to the high ground. They're gonna force the rotations back. How been used. Nimasaur boldly just TPing right in the center of it all. Doesn't care too much. Now, Shapeshift's gonna be activated. Shackles there, BKB coming in. Jai's trying to move through. Do something about this, but there's Soulbind going down. Double Doom should be coming in a second, but the Fiend's Grip is locking him on the spot. He can't do it. Soulbind's gonna run out first. He won't get a chance to go for that double ultimate. And now, Newbie, they've reset the fight perfectly. Instead, Full Foot is the one who has to retreat. Newbie. Take this lane, but can they? There's still a lot of heroes alive. No one has died on either side so far. Move in. Atos gonna come out. Might be able to find the kill on the Grimstroke. Ravage is available. They can go for the Blink in if they want to. There's the tackles, long range, 430, held down with the Spirit Vessel there. There's a Ravage jump in. On the two, gonna be able to play right through them. Finds one, they find more, they lose Bane and returns the real problem here. Now chase through, never ends this fine. You want to fight, let's go. He's gonna get hexed up. Mook trying to turn around, do the damage. Can get on half HP the shackles, last long enough the PA. Good fall to this. We'll get rid of him, but they are so low and so close to death. Worry, you might guys. as well, because right now. For you. Like right now, you're already a big target for the Doom, right? And if you have a cheese, 
It's like you're asking E-Home to hit you up with that Doom. Yeah. Boogie moving in. Be a little bit careful here. They're going to see some out damage. It's going to come out. Forces the team of Sora away. Stolen he actually wards. has to back away. Now the Stolen Wards. Ward on Wardle action coming out. Heavy needs to lift. Dragon Razor in, but there's the Shackles out. Boogie trying to stand up because VKB should be fine. And Jawe is the Fiend's Grim again and practically the same location. They should be able to run him through and kill him off. The buyback is going to come out because they have to get Innocent back in along with the Doom who didn't get a chance to use his combo. Soulbind's gonna be thrown down. They're looking to move away. Newbie wanna try and disengage here. They are gonna reset, look to go back in. Hex gonna come out. Kimisaw overestimating his tanginess. The plasma field. They're just gonna raise through him with this damage to Guardian Dream. Can't keep him up. Gonna get him pretty low. The h to lunk him on this spot. They ravage. ravage through. They're better fighting. The buyback comes out. They actually need to fight up as Lua through this fight because if Newbie breaks them here, Newbie will be able to take this game free. There's the ravage. Soul through, turning around on them. Tidehunter's gonna go down. They pop the Aegis and now it looks like Ehome. They may have been able to hold. Razor left alone. Similarly, the last time, in a complete mess, is his team abandons him when he comes up for that second life. Imagine if you get your hands on Eye of the Storm. You're pushing potential. Even, like, it's not just the Serpent Wars. It's now the Eye of the Storm in the game. Now the Nightmare coming out. Bane, uh-oh. Danchek, he can't move away. They'll send him back to base. And now they're going to follow through, looking for a kill on the Wakes. He's Jawe, charge the board. Can't quite see them. They're going to turn around with the Eye of the Storm. Trying to find him. BKB is going to be out there. Jawe will just TP away. He doesn't want any part of that. Lycan is in your base. You need to deal with this right now. They're gonna try and the lift's gonna come out. Like and he's actually trying to escape from this. Meanwhile, it's gonna be a double cut as they do find him. 430, refusing to let them leave. Even if you get brain sap, like the, the, the nuking potential, there's so much here for him. He's just gonna blink it and ravage. Oh look, they go deep. Sancheng, he's been spotted out, he's gone. Fly back instantly coming in. He actually needs to be in this fight. They can't afford to lose here. Kings come out about the top lane, but they don't care. e home know they can run through space. Hex gonna be there. Crimson Guard to protect. Aposs is out. Now the Shackle's coming out on the 430. There's the Ravage gonna be blown in the middle of the fight. Can they do enough with this? Doom's gonna get low. Xiaowe trying to stay alive. BKB comes out in time. He hasn't thrown out the Doom just yet. The back line are trying to scare them away. Xiaowe will make his retreat. And Lyke is just trying to cut in and do enough, but the big crit scare him off. Never ends. BKB's gonna end. Needs to back away from this. Nightmare's gonna be there. Only the Timber Sword to stop him from actually being able to do enough. And they just ignore him. They run past him. They find the kill on the Gene Q. Both the supports e home are dead, and they need to get out. New Pursuing, looking for more. They don't have the shape shift active anymore. So they oh, should be able to pursue. The... Never end. He TP'd no, to the rocks. The, the head. The head's going to be there. He TP'd to the same spot. The TP was too long. And as a result, newbie, they will manage to get a triple kill on the Moogie. Pretty brutal. Now they move off the high ground. Crimson Skull's going to be used. But there's the head. These shackles coming out. Timbersaw. They're going to interrupt it, allow him to move away. Atos onto him. Now they're trying to turn around to Moogie. Getting down to half HP. She better burn for him. The Doom's going to be thrown out. And now, can he do enough static link? Ironically being used by the Rubik, we talked about his damage talent, now he's just gonna get it a different way. Chase the Brew, Hex on the Doom, he's outside the base, the Spirit Breath is taking a lot of damage. Shackles on this spot, they're trying to chase across on the S Circle C, but he is just wasting their time because Doom is the real target, BKB comes out. He'll be able to actually escape alive here, and he'll even clean up his Mud Golem. They're looking to pursue, they're not done just yet. Wakesy down to half HP, Shapeshift's gonna be activated. They're just trying to TP away, but Wakesy can't get out. They're gonna chase through, Timbersaw wants this kill, and he should be able to find it. Wakesy starts up, will go down, 430. Not done though, he wants more Bane. Next on the hit list, surrounded on all sides and dead. Pretty good, he did a lot of damage in that last fight with her. Um, well, it won't help with hitting the buildings, but don't worry, your PA can do most of that work. They slow Arwen down to make sure he can't try and blink in and ravage initiate. Guardian Greaves going to keep him healthy Radiant's as they hit into these buildings and they'll hit him doing fast. 20 seconds until your Bane is up. You might have to strike soon on that at this rate though. The steel's going to come out. Thank you. Actually gets the gush. We got to shoot it from range. Now they're going to drop the Serpent Wars defensively. Ravage, there it is. Jumping in. BKB comes out. Jawe trying to move in. No two for 50 seconds though. The Soul Mine linked them together. Tidehunter going to get low, but staying alive won't for long. Goes down 65 seconds. Boogie chasing the rest of E-Home out of the base. Can he find any rebuttal kills right now? They've already got the PA, but they need more than this. Boogie will find the double kill on Innocence. They're going to turn around with the Shackles and Timber Saw. No mana left. He might not have an escape. He's got Guardian Greaves coming off cooldown. Trying to Timber Chain away. They're going to try and pursue through. But it's a triple kill with Moogie as he cleans up Jawe as well. They're not done though. Moogie, he wants more heads. Timber Saw, he won't be the target. Rubik instead, who gets hit up with the Fiend Strip. King Q's going to go down and they'll turn around. They're going to try and just end the entirety of E-Home here. As the little Timber Saw tries to TP, not successfully. Never end. The only one alive. And buyback's not looking healthy for E-Home. Nine second BKB, maybe. Fiend's Grip, not available for 55. The mid, mid lane, guys? That's Megas that are pushing Hello? Out. What? I, okay, wait, he's going to respond finally, but a lot of time wasted. 40 seconds till the Doom is up. Moving now. Oh. Soulbind's going to be there. Moogie and S Triple C being hit up. Can they do enough, though? They're going to get him low. Oh my god, Blake and God, Bane as well. Moogie trying to chase it and do enough to zone them out so they can get the rack. Jackal's on the team, Q long range. Be good enough. Now they're going to chase under the patch. Jinkyu getting pretty low. Awen chasing in. No rabbit for 40 seconds. It looks like Rubik. He should tick out in the end. The dude's going to be thrown out here on Awen. And now BKB actually trying to chase through. Xiaowei wants this target behind the lines. 
you will see the fall of Mugi as Neverend overwhelms him and Tight goes down as well. Good team Run the back them. Try and trigger the mess right now. And there it is. Ravage going to come off. Back to the back line. Jinkyu down to half HP. He's trying to get the steal off. But can he actually get it? No, he gets the gust instead. He's going to go down first. And now, Innocent trapped in the circle was BKB from Jawei trying to chase Frost. Throws out on his charm. It's going to doom him up alongside the Razor. Can they do enough right now? Sanchez is free to do what he wants, but they've already used the Beast Grip. Buyback's going to come out. But Eho, they've already lost so many heroes here. They're going to run now full fight. He's going to full next. He can't actually fight up against this. And now, never end. He's got a lot to do. Can he actually do it? It's the real question right now, though. They're all alive on the side of Nubia. So the right here. So it's the right bands. Yeah, but they've left the back line again. They're going to move in right now. Shape you activate. There's the Hex coming out. Grimstroke looks like he's going to go on already. He was up in the air, but when he falls, he's going to fall for good. That's a long time dead. 100 seconds, no buyback available. And the Soulbind will achieve nothing as they move into the base. The back door is there for the time beam. They need to do something soon. 4.30. And now there we go, the gun is going to be there. They do actually catch him with the Serpent Wards. 4.30, needs an escape plan right now, but they're holding him on the spot. He's going to jump the back line. Sanjeng can't really do enough just yet. Still has the Fiend Script to work with. They're going to regret it now. Like, this damage output, I'm not sure anyone can survive this. There it is. The Eternal Envy special. It might, because even, even if they grab you, they can't actually deal with you. They're Jinkyu baiting, they're baiting the Timber. coming out. Timber's going to reveal himself. Ravage going to be there. Connect on a two. Now they're going to turn around. Timber's all down to half HP. Trying to burst through. Jowie jumping in. Link is going to be popped. There's the use of the Ravage. Trying to be returned onto the Moogie. It's going to go down. Ow and Link together. And Sanchez, they can't escape. It's going to be a double kill for Neverend. Going to chase through for more. He finds the triple kill. And e -home. Off the back of that Rapier. They had the damage. They're going to be sneaking by S triple C to try and find some buildings. But the Glyph. Buys enough time that they don't give a damn. They are balling down mid. They're going to try to go throne. They're pinging the throne. Yeah. And it's going to come obvious to both sides what's happening here. We are going to have a race as they move into the base. There's already invites going the way of E-Home as they break one tower. And now they're going to try to go work on the other side of the map. But honestly, Newbie, they're not pushing quick enough. The Tempting is still left lasting a little bit too long. And Lycan, he just can't do the damage. The Serpent was used against them. We'll clean them up. And while that's happening, E-Home is ending in the base. And they will take this 2-0 to proceed to the door of Pit Minor.